Lesson 18 on the binomial theorem. In this lesson, we need to determine the coefficient of x to the power of 3 in the expansion of this binomial. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. We are going to use Pascal's triangle in doing that. Now, let's begin by constructing Pascal's triangle. Now, to construct Pascal's triangle, you are going to write two ones. You add these two, you get two. You put one at the ends, and then you add these two, you get three. We get three on that. We put one at the ends. We get four. We get six. And we get four on that. Since this binomial is to the power of four, we are going to consider the fourth row. All right, and then we are going to create a formula that we are going to use. Now that formula will be a plus b to the power of four. Now we are going to say a, this term to the power of four multiplied by b to the power of zero. Then we move on to a, we subtract one on this power we get a to the power of three we add one on this power we get b b to the power of one then we add a squared we subtract one on that and we add one on that so we have a squared b squared plus we say a we subtract one on that and we add one on that then we say b to the power of three and then we say plus a to the power of zero and then b to the power of four. Now, this fourth row is going to give us the binomial coefficients. And these are one. We leave it like that. And we have four. So we have four on that. All right. And then we have six right here and we have another four and we have one on that now let's just simplify that formula we say now a plus b to the power of four is equal to we say a to the power of four remember b to the power of zero is one plus four a to the power of three b plus six a squared b squared plus 4a b to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 4 because a to the power of 0 is 1. Now we are going to use this formula to expand that binomial. Now we are going to say 2x plus 1 over 3 to the power of 4. All right, we are going to take 2x to be a. All right, and 1 over 3 will be b. And then we are going to substitute these into that formula. All right, since we say a is 2 to 2x, we are going to say 2x to the power of 4 plus 4 a is 2x. 2x to the power of 3 multiplied by b. b is 1 over 3 plus 6. a is 2x, 2x squared. b is 1 over 3. So we can do that on and on. But you remember, we, are, we were asked to find the coefficient of x to the power of 3. And where do we find that coefficient? We are going to find that coefficient on this term because that's the term that is going to have x to the power of 3. So we're just going to simplify that. So we have 4, 2 to the power of 3, that is 8. So it's multiplying 8 and we have x to the power of 3 and we multiply that by 1 over 3. All right, and then we simplify that further. We say 4 by 8, we get 32. 
divided by 3 x to the power of 3. All right. So now we can now say the coefficient of x to the power of 3 is 32 divided by 3. And we are done with this question. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Enjoy your day.